October 16th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 139 and 140 from the Old Testament. O Lord, you examine me and know. You know when I sit down and when I get up. Even from afar you understand my motives. You carefully observe me when I travel or when I lie down to rest. You are aware of everything I do. Certainly my tongue does not frame a word without you, O Lord, being thoroughly aware of it. You squeeze me in from behind and in front. You place your hand on me. Your knowledge is beyond my comprehension. It is so far beyond me. I am unable to fathom it. Where can I go to escape your spirit? Where can I flee to escape your presence? If I were to ascend to heaven, you would be there. If I were to sprawl out and shield, there you would be. If I were to fly away on the wings of the dawn and settle down on the other side of the sea, even there your hand would guide me. Your right hand would grab hold of me. If I were to say, certainly the darkness will cover me and the light will turn to night all around me. Even the darkness is not too dark for you to see, and the night is as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. Certainly you made my mind and heart. You wove me together in my mother's womb. I will give you thanks because your deeds are awesome and amazing. You knew me thoroughly. My bones were not hidden from you when I was made in secret and sewed together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw me when I was inside the womb. All the days ordained for me were recorded in your scroll before one of them came into existence. How difficult it is for me to fathom your thoughts about me, O God. How vast is their sum total. If I tried to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. Even if I finished counting them, I would still have to contend with you. If only you would kill the wicked, O God. Get away from me, you violent men. They rebel against you and act deceitfully. Your enemies lie. O Lord, do I not hate those who hate you and despise those who oppose you? I absolutely hate them. They have become my enemies. Examine me and probe my thoughts. Test me and know my concerns. See if there is any adulterous tendency in me and lead me in the reliable ancient path. O oh Lord, rescue me from wicked men, protect me from violent men, who plan ways to harm me. All day long they stir up conflict. Their tongues wound like a serpent, a viper's venom is behind their lips. Selah. O oh Lord, shelter me from the power of the wicked. Protect me from violent men who plan to knock me over. Proud men hide a snare for me. Evil men spread a net by the path. They set traps for me. Selah. I say to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, pay attention to my plea for mercy. O sovereign Lord, my strong deliverer, you shield my head in the day of battle. O Lord, do not let the wicked have their way. Do not allow their plan to succeed when they attack. Selah. As for the heads of those who surround me, may the harm done by their lips overwhelm them. May he rain down fiery coals upon them. May he throw them into the fire. From bottomless pits they will not escape. A slanderer will not endure on the earth. Calamity will hunt down a violent man and strike him down. I know that the Lord defends the cause of the oppressed and vindicates the poor. Certainly the godly will give thanks to your name. The morally upright will live in your presence. Daily video Bible reading from the Net Bible. Psalms chapters 139. God, I always love the verses that talk about how you thought of me before I was created. That to me is crazy awesome that you knew, you intentionally sat down to create a Janelle or anybody else listening to this video and you wrote their name in your book of life and you knew what they were going to look like and you knew what they were going to feel in their hearts and you know you knew the things that they were going to experience before any of these things happened but the amazing part to me is you intentionally made me 
So all those days where I struggle with who I am in this world, with insecurity and depression and frustration and isolation and that I just can't do anything right, I need to be reminded that not only am I yours, specifically chosen as your child, but you intentionally created me to be your child. God, that almost leaves me speechless that you, my God, my Lord, my Savior, would take the time to create me. And here I am thinking that I'm nothing and I'm worthless and I'm not attractive and there's really no point for being on earth anymore. And then I read these verses and you're like, no, I intentionally made you. You have a purpose. You are my child. You are on earth intentionally. I put you there. And I think about the creation that went into making me and everyone else who's listening to this video right now. And I think about the things that I create, definitely not life, <laughs> but the things that I do uh, and the people listening, whether it be craft things or work things or, or whatever that looks like. For me, I was thinking about websites that I create. And when I get done with the website, I know it intimately. I know where the code is good. I know where the code is a little bit shaky. Um, I know every little line of that code and what it does for what the user experience is for the actual finished website on the internet. I know what I need to change to make something else happen. I know it inside and out. I probably even dream about it at night time because I've worked so hard on it. And this is just a website. This nowhere compares, obviously, to a person that you've created. But I think about how I know that code inside and out. Every, every last piece, every last symbol of it, I wrote and understood what it meant. And I know where it is and I know where it goes and I know how it works. And I think to you who created us, who intentionally created us, who did the same thing and you know where every eyelash is and you know where every freckle is and you know our, our walk and you know how we put processes together in our mind. You know how our cells work in our bodies. I'm just in awe that with every single person who's ever lived here on earth and every will ever will live on earth, that you intentionally sat down and created them, each one a masterpiece, each one intentional, each one with a specific purpose you had in mind for them. A unique and separate plan for each and every one of these lives that you created. God, there's so many times where I get so wrapped up selfishly in my life for all the wrong reasons, obviously. And I know that you know I'm doing these things because there's no place I can go to do or think that you wouldn't know because I am your creation. And even though I might be wrapped up in my own world, the amazing thing is that never, ever stops me from being your child. Sure, I can screw up a lot, and I do. But you're really clear that never stops you from loving me. That never causes you, no matter what I do, it never causes you to leave me because of how much you love me and what went in to your creation of me. What went into the creation of every single person on this video. God, I ask that you allow their hearts to understand how valuable they are. That they're not only valuable to people here on earth that you have set their paths to cross with, but they're also valuable to you. Because you intentionally created every single tiny piece of them. Their thoughts, their words, their actions, the color of their hair, how their laugh sounds. 
everything was created uniquely by you. God, I also know that I have your heart. You gave me a new heart to see the world. And I just ask that you allow that heart to continue to see through that filter, that filter of love and grace and mercy. And remind me of that over and over again, that it is your heart, not mine, <laughs> that I need to see things through. That it is not my selfish kingdom that I get wrapped up into. You created me for a purpose. You created each and every one of us for a purpose. There is a point to every single life out here. And if I wake up tomorrow morning, it's because you still have things for me to do. Because I was created for those things. God, words will never be enough to thank you for all that you've given given us in, in blessings and creation and the world that we live in. But at least help us to be intentionally aware of the incredible wonderment of all that you have done. We may never understand the full extent of it, but just the stunning acknowledgement that you created each one of us uniquely with a unique plan and purpose is just incredible. I love you so much. In your son's name I pray. Amen. Who created us? Who intentionally created us? Who did the same thing and you know where every eyelash is and you know where every freckle is and you know our our walk and you know how we put processes together in our minds.